So I want to throw it out there. Idris Basari, welcome back, Idris. Uh, thanks for the invitation to yet another very informative hangout, Craig. Sending in my question before the show. What are your thoughts in authorship ranking in relation to authority versus income on social media? Personally, I don't care about it because good rank doesn't necessarily mean big income. Your thoughts? Uh, on the side note, my last collaborative effort just dropped and I could use some votes. Okay, that's for like Beat 100. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, looks like a music thing. So everybody support Idris. He is a Craig minion. I'm going to throw that out there. Um, Idris, you're, you're asking a loaded question here. What are your thoughts on authorship ranking in relation to authority versus income? Uh, the, there's a lot of terms that are being thrown around here. You have authority, you have authorship, you have ranking, and you have income. And this authority versus income is just a vague thing for me to even try to consider. Um, authorship is the new way of Google assign basically Google connecting you as an individual as a social entity to your content and Google authorship is absolutely the future of Google search results you can fight it all you want internet you can fight it all you want YouTube you can fight it all you want but Google Plus is here to stay and it's here to stay for a very long time and it's also going to become a very integral part of the Google search algorithm Fight it to the bloody end if you'd like, but the rest of us are just jumping right on the train. Adapt or die, people. Um, but you have to make sure that you are leveraging this. Uh, Google authorship is very simple to do. You go to your Google Plus profile, and you have to scroll down, and you have to basically paste it. There's a bunch of guides out there. Craig Fifield has one of the best. So Google this. Google Craig Fifield Google Authorship. It'll tell you how to set up your plugins and all that to, to connect your blog to your entity. And what it's doing is, is, is search is becoming personal. There's a book that I want to throw out here. Right here. Keep it by me. Pretty close by. Google Semantic Search. Talked about all the time on Google+. David Ammerland. I've had a couple conversations with him, or a conversation with him about this. I'm still reading it. Very, very awesome book. Uh, talks about the future of search, talks about how it's all tied together into your social media presence. And this is definitely here, guys. This is definitely here to stay. The traditional keyword optimization, SEO, all of that's still important. That hasn't gone away, but it's all being tied together. If, picture this. Picture picture a, a search world, okay, or a Google search world where you make real connections with like Craig the Tech Teacher, or you make a real connection with somebody on social media. You're a big fan of their stuff. You plus one their stuff all the time. And then, you, then all of a sudden you're like, you know what? How do I do this Google authorship thing? Okay? So then you go onto Google search, you type in Google authorship, and you press enter. And now, instead of Google just searching all over the internet, the millions of articles on Google authorship, they know you. And they know that you have a personal connection with Craig the Tech Teacher. Okay? And so they say, well, he likes Craig the Tech Teacher. He likes the content that Craig the Tech Teacher produces. It's likely that he would be more interested in the Google authority or Google authorship post that Craig the Tech Teacher wrote than this millions of other ones. So Craig the Tech Teacher gets bumped up on the search results. It doesn't mean I'm going to be number one on the page, but I get more search ranking authority based on this personal connection that I have with that individual. Because one of the biggest problems with search has always been how do you make it exactly what people want when they want it? Well, a big part of what we want is personal. It's something that we... Uh, the type of content we like to consume has a lot to do with the type of people we like to watch, the type of information we like to see. And so these connections are becoming an integral part of the search algorithm. And, and in the long run, they're going to really, I think they're really going to nail this down finally because of the implementation of Google+. Now, when we segue this, Idris, we segue this into how am I going to make money doing this? What does it have to do with income? Not a whole lot other than if you get more exposure, you will make more money. But I don't know what your revenue model is. I do know that it's, it's one thing to get popular on social media. It's quite another to get popular and make a living on social media. And I know a lot of people who are extremely popular who make no money. And I, I'm technically, people keep telling me I'm popular, but I've had to put in a number of different revenue models just to make decent money, which I wouldn't even say is great money. Uh, but it really just depends on how you're leveraging your niche, what you're writing about, how you're 
promoting it, and there's so much involved in that whole process that I couldn't even... I could fill an entire episode just on that because I've learned the hard way in a lot of those areas. Uh, but as far as authorship ranking and authority, you have to make sure you are leveraging authorship. And authority, I'm a little confused about your differentiation for that. I might need to get some more information on you on that. 